Georgia, we're here at the conference uh, in Brighton. Um, how do you think it's gone and what's the mood? Yeah, well, after a really tough couple of years, it's just been amazing to all be together. And I think the, the mood is, is really great, great energy. There's, there's lots of big ideas that are coming out of this conference for the future. And it, it's wonderful to see Labour focused on um, the big issues, whether that's investment in green energy or ensuring that uh, workers have the, the pay and rights they deserve. Fuel poverty is, is one of our real concerns in Camden and it's part of the reason that we, we're trying to put forward the, a, a massive retrofit um, programme. I think it's going to be one of the, the big focuses of the, for us for the, for the next few years, both because it creates new jobs and helps deal with, with fuel poverty. And we're doing a lot of work uh, to bring together investment um, into retrofit to, to improve our buildings. And I think um, and, there's, and there's support packages available for those who are struggling in Camden. But I think more widely, um, we do need to diversify uh, where our energy is coming from. We've done some of that with, in Camden with heat and power uh, stations, but there, that there needs to be a big kind of national programme. And I think that's why, it's, why Labour is talking about some of those ideas at, at this conference. And Rachel Reeves said yesterday that she was looking forward to a, a new wave of insourcing. Is that something that would be welcomed at the council? Yeah, I mean, I think in Camden, since uh, over the last four years, we uh, have been bringing services back in-house, whether it's uh, our repairs, um, uh, our, our work on voids, um, our, our caretaking services. And I think it's really important to, to have that capacity within local government. We saw during the pandemic when, when national government um, uh, were, were failing, they couldn't get PPE out, uh, they couldn't get food distributed. Having staff that are rooted in our communities, had strong relationships with residents, was so important to be able to support people, to make sure that we did get people food in Camden, we did get people uh, PPE, and we were able to, to support people and to support the vaccination programme. So it's something we've been committed to for a long time and we'll continue to, to build up our capacity because we believe in the, in the power of the public sector. There's no doubt, you know, as a Jewish leader, there's, it has been painful the, the, how difficult the parties found it to deal with anti-Semitism. And it really, it was a really emotional uh, moment, I think, for, for me and for, for many Jewish members um, to see such a resounding victory for the recommendations of the EH, EHRC uh, committee. And I think that, that, that is a change in, uh, for us and I, and I hope that we will start to restore trust uh, from our Jewish community and, and show that, that never again will we allow anti-Semitism to, to be rife in our party. And do you think it's still there though? Do you think there's still anti-Semitism? Do you think there's Islamophobia within the party now? You know, there's, there's anti-Semitism uh, definitely, uh, you know, still there in our society and, and in our party. And I think that what happened over the last few years exposed um, uh, some some kind of real ugliness under the surface. And I think that uh, it, you know, we 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 need to continue to to educate people to to not be complacent about the the fight against anti-Semitism and and alongside it, absolutely fight Islamophobia and all other forms of racism and and stand in solidarity because I know. Um, as a, as a Jewish leader, some of the first people to, to stand against anti-Semitism with us were our, my Muslim friends and colleagues, and I am absolutely committed to always doing the same um, to fight Islamophobia alongside them. And just one more. At a previous conference, I asked you, um, could you actually visualise, could you imagine Jeremy Corbyn walking through the doors of Downing Street as Prime Minister, and you said yes. Yeah, I think we're, he's the leader of our party, and we want Labour to win, win an election, and, and that's what this is about. Um, yeah, can you actually visualise Jeremy Corbyn stepping through number 10 Downing Street as the Prime Minister's yeah, I mean, we are fighting hard for a Labour government. That's what we're all about. So can you visualise <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we, I mean, we want a Labour government. Yeah. If there's an election, I would be knocking on doors day in, day out, calling for that Labour government. Yeah, of course, of course we can win. We've got the Tories in complete chaos. Um, it didn't happen. Can you can you see it happening with Keir Starmer? <laughs> Absolutely. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm so proud of, of our local MP Keir Starmer. He's somebody who's always been a, a great champion of people in Camden. Whenever we've needed him, he's been there. And we've, you know, we've had some really difficult things happen in our borough um, uh, around knife violence um, and and other challenges and he always turns up for the community and I'm absolutely certain he will do the same for the country and I couldn't think of anyone better to, to lead our country. And you'll be leading the party into the next year's council elections? Uh, absolutely, um, I've, I'm really looking forward to running a really positive community driven campaign alongside our brilliant Labour councillors.